50 percent effort, but double the result, meaning 100 percent result. What if I tell you, you know, that in PT this is actually possible and this is how it actually works. With less efforts, you can actually get more scores and the vice versa is also true. You put more efforts, <laughs> you end up getting half the score. Well, today in this video, I will be unveiling some 10 deadly secrets that nobody tells you as far as PT speaking is concerned. All you got to do is make sure you watch the video till the end. Hey everybody, Nakhil from Skills PT Academic. Really hope everybody is doing fantastic. I'm back with yet another super awesome power packed video on 10 deadly secrets that nobody tells you with respect to PT speaking and to get that 90. You don't really have to put double the effort. It's half the effort and double the result. All right. So before we get into the video, if you're not subscribed to this channel, kindly click on the subscribe button and anytime you need online assistance, it's a great assistance. You can check the information in the description of this video. We have given our WhatsApp link. You can click on the link. I'll be there. We will be there to help you guide you in the right direction. All right. Without further delay, let's straight away get right into the video. This is going to be a short video, but it has got everything that it needs for one to get that 90 with very minimal effort. Let's start. PT is speaking 50% effort, by the way, 100% result, 10 deadly secrets. Let's straight away get into the secret number one. Remember, without putting any effort, you can actually use the timer given. There are two timers. One is for the audio, second is for the mic. I'm going to show the visuals in just a while. Using the timer, you can just understand. What is the length of the audio? Is it going to be a very lengthy audio that is going to come next or is it going to be a short audio? You do not have to put any effort for this, just a mental calculation. Let us understand this. Properly, let us do the maths. It is one of the very easy techniques. See here, beginning in 3 seconds. After 3 seconds, the audio begins. But here it says beginning in 8 seconds. By the time this 3 second is done, 3, 2, 1, this 8, 7, 6, this 5 seconds are remaining, correct, yes or no, hope you are getting it. So when the audio starts, here it says beginning in 5 seconds, means audio has to run for at least 4 seconds, 4 second audio and then 1 second delay, 5 seconds, after 5th second, the microphone will on. Here after 8 seconds only, recording comes and you got to speak once you see the recording. This recording will come in 8th second, correct? But here audio begins in 3 seconds, 3 plus 5 second audio. 5 second audio will not be there, 4 second lengthy audio. Post the audio, 1 second delay will be there. So, it is basically 4 second audio. 4 second audio are going to be minimum 10 words. If it is 3 second audio, 1 second you can speak at least 3 words. You will hear the sentence one second. Usually three, three, I mean usually the audio will be slower. So, three words is what you speak in one sentence. So, four second means 10 to 12 words minimum. Usually if it is five to seven words, it would be two or three seconds. Getting it right? Hope I did not, um, you know, confuse your Einstein's brain. <laughs> it is very simple. When these two have a huge difference. It is going to be a lengthy audio. May not be huge difference, but usually this is beginning in 8 seconds. If it is beginning in 6 seconds, that means 2 second audio, 1 second break or 3 second audio, half second break. Hope you are getting it. So, just do this math every day whenever you practice. So, that automatically you do this math without having to put any effort. And if it is a lengthy audio, you know what has to be followed. I think deadly secret number 5 or 6 will cover that. Until then, please wait. This is the first technique, super awesome, deadly, secret, super supreme secret technique that nobody tells you. Please make use of this and be ready. Oh, next one going to be a lengthy audio. Next one going to be a small audio. You do not have to worry. Next one going to be a lengthy audio. You need to be on top of things. All right, let us quickly move on to the secret number two. Read aloud. You can go to any extent, do anything to get the fluency right. What is this fluency? Zero fumbles. Uh, uh, not even one, zero hesitations. You have to go at a natural speed. So, let us say you spoke this wrong, you spoke this as multiface. Astronomy is a multiface uh, uh, facetted, now zero marker, reading on case. 
to get that fluency right you can go to any extent even you can speak wrong in the worst case worst case worst case no problem at all you made a mistake you misinterpreted the word absolutely fine just continue never look back boss please don't come back and you know don't look back astronomy is a multi phase scientific discipline that encompasses the study of celestial object i did not say objects will that be a problem not a major problem as long as you are very fluent and this happens let's say 3 to 4 times totally fine if it is happening to every world then you need to worry know that content is not a huge priority here it is the fluency whether it's the speaking marks that come from here or the reading marks it is the fluency so content you can take some you know advantage so totally fine don't have to worry too much about the content you mispronounce a word absolutely fine don't mispronounce i'm not encouraging you to mispronounce if at all you do then it's totally fine don't come back and correct it that is the secret effort what i'm telling you don't put so much of effort let it just go put your effort only to the fluency that is what 50% of the effort i'm talking about the rest 50% of the effort towards content don't put you put gone case astronomy is a multi face uh, multi faceted now gone case you put that extra effort half of the result you put less effort more the result this is exactly what i was talking about in the intro let's quickly move on to the next one so many people have this problem s sounds ed sounds see here faceted objects planets asteroids comets galaxies astronomers spectrographs telescopes antennas faceted developed encompasses all these words please try to be very natural he wants to eat you never say he wants to eat i developed this project no i developed this project it's totally fine and it should be that way you stress you worry too much and put that extra 50% effort and pronounce this s and ed sounds trying to be more clearer you get half the score astronomy is a multifaceted scientific discipline that encompasses the study of celestial objects such as stars planets asteroids no marks gone case <laughs> for that half of the effort you get more scores it is the other way when you speak naturally do you give this s or ed sound extra sounds no you don't emphasize on this isn't it here also no emphasis just try to be natural right now i'm talking to you the same way you need to talk here astronomy is a multifaceted scientific discipline that encompasses the study of celestial objects such as stars planets asteroids comets and galaxies and the physical phenomena that occur within the universe astronomers utilize astronomers astronomer astronomers astronomers just say just be natural astronomers utilize a plethora of cutting edge technological tools including telescopes spectrographs and radio antennas it should be as natural as possible any time software finds out you're trying so hard to get that correctly you don't get the marks because when you speak naturally you don't try so hard isn't it you just speak same way here that's the secret number 3 the idea is don't put that extra effort put less efforts in speaking it you get your scores where you need to put that effort in reading fill in the blank listening fill in the blank write from dictation there you put extra efforts there it is 101 100% or 150% effort 75% result here 50% effort 100% result it's absolutely true absolutely true all right we go to the secret number 4 deadly secret by some time if you really think mr butterball on either sides shouting at a literally top of her or his voice this should not happen i would recommend everyone request everybody not to speak you can speak a bit louder don't shout you shout you don't get the marks for sure none of the words will be clearer and the pavam the next guy sitting right next to you also gone case so if you really find someone literally shouting you raise your hand ask the invigilator invigilator will shut him up but sometimes invigilator will say something and go back and this person looks around oh invigilator is eating breakfast inside let me again shout because my tutor has asked me to literally shout then there is no point in complaining you can buy some time excuse me she'll come i think this pen is not working i think there is some problem i as a teacher should not tell you this because everyone will start implementing this please implement this only on the worst case buy some time let this person finish it off well you cannot buy the entire time of you know um the speaking it will take some 15 5 
10 to 12 to 15 minutes, but at least read aloud, you can bite the time. And when the person starts speaking repeat sentence, you can start read aloud before the person comes to describe image. Because repeat sentence is a small sentence. He will speak and keep quiet. So, you will get ample time. If everybody follows this, then no advantage for anybody. Um, use it only when required. But my, re my request recommendation, go early half an hour before and you know like whoever sitting there outside the examination hall, who are ready to enter the hall, right? Talk to them, make friends and tell them, I also not shout, you also should not shout, promise. That way it is the best thing possible. But in case if anyone is there who is not listening, then this is the only deadly secret that I can tell you, though I should not. <laughs> Use it wisely. Secret number 5, click the next button immediately once done. Let us say you are speaking, the mic is near to you, correct? I have a mic here. Someone is shouting. The mic records my voice and you know cuts down the other noises because the amplitude, the strength of my voice which is near to it is more compared to the other person's voice. But let us say I finish speaking in the read aloud. I am just waiting. Microphone will turn off after third second. For three seconds, the other person is shouting, screaming. I am not speaking at all. Other person is screaming. There are chances, not all the time. There are chances. The next, you know, the people who are, or the person who is sitting right next to you on either side, their voice may be recorded in some cases, which can definitely result in low scores, surprising scores sometimes. So, once done, take the mouse, do a click, next button immediately and move on. Once you click next button, again it will ask you, are you sure you want to go to next question? Click yes and just move on to second question or next question. Do not delay, do this throughout the speaking. Read aloud, repeat sentence, describe image, read a lecture, ASQ, answer short question. All right. Uh, Secret 6, secret number 6, deadly secret number 6. Skip the difficult words and make sure to speak as if the word was not there. Just a skipping is not going to help you. These 5 words are difficult. People start. Astronomy is a scientific discipline that encompasses the study of objects such as stars, planets, comets, galaxies going at 60 kilometer, then break 30 kilometer, 60 kilometer, 30 kilometer. That should not happen. Your speech should be constant. Astronomy is a scientific discipline that encompasses the study of objects such as stars, planets, comets and galaxies and the physical phenomena that occur within the universe. I am just going at ease, but I am making sure I, I put, I do not put that effort at all. I just skip that word, but I skip in a way that word I, I should not even see that word. In that way I skip. If you are buying some time to skip means you are actually putting that effort to skip that word. Just do not see that word. Imagine the word is not there, assume the word is not there. Put less effort, you get more marks. More effort, less marks. Hope you are getting it. Deadly secret number 6 guys, do not tell anybody. Alright, secret number 7, I have told this many times in many of my videos. It is a classic secret. Repeat sentence. The lengthy ones, 6, 7 words, audio everybody will speak. But these days, more lengthy ones are appearing. Probably 5 to 6 audio is going to be 10, 12 words. The problem that I have observed, is listening. You listen to 10, 12 words. You try to speak 10, 12 words. If you speak perfectly well and good, but while speaking, if you fumble, definitely people fumble for long, for longer lengthy audios. That is where the marks completely trickle down. Solution is this. Like I told you, put half effort, <laughs> double the effect. Put more effort, half the score. <laughs> you try to speak all 12 words correctly, you get 0 marks. If you fumble, definitely you will fumble. Not all, probably 1 or 2 out of 100 will speak every content correctly by not compromising on the fluency. The rest will compromise on the fluency, max gone. For that, you need to put lot of effort. I am asking you, do not put lot of effort, put only 50 percent of the effort. Listen to first 6, 7 words. After 6, 7 words, do not even listen. Do not do this, in that way you practice every day. Just neglect them or speak them back, so that you know the time. Uh, at which the recording opens, right? By that time you would have spoken it, you may not, you know, be able to listen to whatever they speak. Repeat this 6, 7 words correctly. 50 to 60 percent of the content, if it is right, you get the marks. 100 percent content or 50, 60 percent content would give the same scores. Then why you want to give full? If you can give full, give full, but if you fumble, zero marks. Remember, it is a very simple thing. Speak them back 6, 7 words. Listen 6, 7 words. Speak 6, 7 words. Done and dusted. Secret 
deadly secret number eight. Describe image, ma'am, please. You are in 2024. At least now, don't worry too much about the maximum, minimum, the keyword, that, these. If there are thousand people looking at the image, all thousand will give different answers. Then how can you correct it? Very simple. You correct it in a way that you give very less preference to the content. You give only preference to fluency, fluency, fluency. What is fluency here? The way you spoke in the read aloud, the same way you have to speak here. Content, not much required. You try to give content, fluency gone. Put less effort, that's exactly what I'm talking about. <laughs> okay, this is the um, template. Well, in the YouTube, everything I'll not be able to share. But whatever I've shared, you can blindly believe. Four keywords, just put four words. You can put whatever you want. See the image. You want to put the colors, red, black, or green, or orange, or some keywords, you put it. Just speak. The given image represents a beautiful image. There must have been a popular debate. When you speak, you should sound natural. The given image represents a beautiful image. You don't get the marks. What if I start speaking like this? Will you continue watching this video? You don't. Then if you speak like that, how the marks will come? For those who are struggling, join our course, we will fix it. Speaking is just a matter of time. Two, three days, we get you 90. Because it is like that. Things are very easy. I have told everything here, but still, people will listen only what they want to listen. Such people would definitely need a course. But those who are conscious enough would get everything whatever I have told here and implement get this course. Getting it is the way of speech, not what you speak. It is how you speak. Put less efforts, you get the marks. You put more efforts, you get less marks. Remember this. Deadly secret number nine, <laughs> written lecture. Go to any extent to speak fluently. Meaning, the template and the words that I have written, they are not fitting. Grammatically, they are not making sense. Logically, they are not making sense. All those not required. What I want is just the fluency. You can go to any extent. Grammar, don't worry. That means whatever is there, you just read. <coughs> don't try to understand whatever you speak. This is the secret. If you put that extra effort, try to make a grammatically correct sentence. You will definitely mess it up. <coughs> you will try to correct it and do a lot many stuff. This requires a lot of effort. You put so much of effort, 50% result. You put only 50% of the effort, you get 100% result. Simply have not named this video. It is so true. Just speak whatever you have written. For example, this is the template and this is the answer. Sociology has its way out. The numerous emperors have ruled this place. The king died and had to pass his reign rule to his son. The city lost its image and terrorist. Everything is precise. Grammar is perfect. You speak, you'll get the marks. But what I'm talking about is something different. This is very simple. The lecture gives the important key points and the relevant information about sociology has its way out. In the beginning, the speaker explained about numerous emperors have ruled this place. Very easy, comfortable person gets the marks. But what if, what if you have written this? Sociology way out. Numerous emperors, this place. The king died and his reign son. The city lost, city, its image and tarnished. Full grammatically, logically, everything is wrong. It doesn't matter, just speak. The lecture gives the important key points and the relevant information about sociology way out. In the beginning, the speaker explained about numerous emperors this place. Later, speaker mentioned about the importance of the king died and his reign son. Here, the speaker was ideally pointing at the fact that city, its image and tarnished. In conclusion, the lecture gives the important key points about sociology way out. I know it did not make sense. But whatever you've written, you speak, you try to correct it. Whatever the marks that you get, that also you don't get. All this will work, all this will get this course. These are all the deadly secrets, confidential, top secret things. All right, we go to the last one, secret number 10. Small audios, 30 second audio. I was not able to write lot. I was able to write only two small sentences. What do I do? Don't lose hope. Have that smile. Repeat the content. Let's say this is what you have spoken. The first line of the template, done. Second line of the template, done. Third, or fourth, or fifth, what will I do? I'll ask God, God, please give me one more line. No, God will not come. <laughs> but your conscience, your intellectual will help you here. 
at the end of the day definitely you will lose one or two marks towards your listening because content goes there it's okay but speaking you can get no speaking is only fluency correct i'll show you what has to be done the lecture gives the important key points and the relevant information about the animal diversity is minimal here in the beginning the speaker explained about the caged animals receive no proper treatment later speaker mentioned about the importance of animal diversity is minimal here here the speaker was ideally pointing at the fact that caged animals receive no proper treatment in conclusion the lecture gives the important key points about the animal diversity is minimal here and the caged animals receive no proper that 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 speaking 90 listening definitely 2 3 marks 2 marks you may lose but you have written less what can you do at least get marks to speaking hope you are getting it i really hope these 10 top secrets confidential secrets have really helped you the way ahead and put you in the right direction now it's up to you whether you want to walk you want to go for a marathon or you want to sprint and finish it off all right guys so if you like the video if you love the content that we shared leave your appreciation with a thumbs up like share and subscribe this is nakul n-a-k-u-l n-a-k-u-l nakul signing off from skills pt soon we'll be back till then take care bye bye thanks much